Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about urban sprawl. Now you may have heard this term but you may not know what exactly it means. In this video we are going to cover four main questions regarding urban sprawl. What is urban sprawl? What are the causes of urban sprawl? Its impact on the environment and solutions to stop urban sprawl. What is urban sprawl? Urban sprawl is simply the uncontrolled spread of urban development into neighboring regions. If we were to go in more depth, this is essentially the expansion of a geographical extent of a city and is often characterized by low density development, meaning housing that's being built on really large land lots or really scattered land lots. Now what causes cities to sprawl? Well, the main causes are overpopulation urbanization and lifestyle choices all of these concepts tie into each other nowadays people like to live in cities whether it is for job opportunities or simply for the excitement of city life and as the population rises more and more people shift into cities this poses a very big question where will the people live and thus builders and city planners start expanding the city to add to this, as the economy rises, people make more money and start making lifestyle choices to achieve that ideal city life. They now have a lot of money, so they want bigger houses, their own vehicles, lawns, driveways and swimming pools. The houses begin to scatter and get bigger and all of this leads to urban sprawl. Urban sprawl may be beneficial to architects, builders and city planners, but for you, me and the environment, not so much. The following are the impacts or effects of urban sprawl. Urban sprawl causes air pollution. As people buy more cars, the carbon footprint of the vehicles increases. As the cities industrialize, more smoke and dust is emitted into the air, causing air pollution. Urban sprawl also leads to water pollution. As rainwater condenses, it picks up gasoline, paints, heavy metals and other pollutants from sources like parking lots, driveways, lawns, etc. And all of that accumulates in large and toxic amounts and they pollute our water sources like rivers and lakes. Water scarcity is also a major problem and one solution to that is to reduce water usage. But as urban centers sprawl, there is an increase in water consumption. Having more land and more commodities leads to an increase in water consumption which leads to water pollution and water scarcity. One of the impacts of urban sprawl is also human health degradation. Urban sprawl leads to physical inactivity, obesity and the pollution we cause affecting us. Air and water pollution can cause diseases like asthma, bronchitis, cholera and even cancer. Loss of wildlife As cities expand, all the forest outside the city is turned into concrete jungles which leads to loss of trees, wildlife and biodiversity. Increase in traffic and fatalities. As urban areas spread out, our trips are lengthened, people spend more time into their cars, and not only does this cause more air pollution, but traffic congestion and our road accidents. The risk of floods. Urban sprawl destroys wetlands, which are really important for absorbing flood waters, and floods cause ton of property damage and even take lives. Frank N. Eckert, a Democratic congressman, said this about urban sprawl. The urban sprawl spreads so far that the most people lose all touch with nature. Will the day come when the only bird a typical American child ever sees is a canary in a pet shop window? And the only wild animal he knows is a rat glimpsed on a night drive through some city slum. And the only tree he touches is the cleverly fabricated plastic evergreen that shades his gifts on the Christmas morning. That's deep. Now that we've talked about all the effects, let's look at the solutions. One of the biggest problems concerning urban sprawl is the lack of education. If communities are educated about the negative impacts of urban sprawl, they are more likely to take action to prevent responsible development. Communities need to understand the drawbacks of urban sprawl. Once the community is educated, it is more likely to act. 
Smart growth is designed to combat urban sprawl by developing in a way that does not jeopardize the land or community. Planners and architects who promote smart growth seek to develop a stronger sense of place through a more compact way of development, also known as mixed use. Mixed use development combines residential areas with places of employment and commerce instead of isolating individual areas, allowing for more pedestrians and public transit as opposed to traffic and pollution. New urbanism is an urban design movement which promotes environmentally friendly habits by creating walkable neighborhoods containing a wide range of housing and job types. Revitalization of existing urban centers and towns helps to preserve the existing natural environment, thereby reducing urban sprawl. New urbanism seeks to turn existing communities and neighborhoods into diverse districts, cleaning up polluted and dilapidated areas. These were the ways to solve urban sprawling. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Hello everyone.